Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome to my final haul on this channel before we move into Black Friday deals. We have a little VIB sale haul. We have my most recent Alta Points order. I really wanted to uh, make sure I get today's video up because I have some thoughts to share on some products that I have already purchased and have already tried. And uh, before we get into this video, I also wanted to make sure I update you on what's coming to the channel this week. So some of you probably saw, I asked a few days ago what you would like to see on this channel. You all said, Black Friday deals, basically. Which I totally understand. I understand where you're coming from. So tomorrow, we will go through the Ulta and Sephora Black Friday deals, and then on Wednesday, we're gonna talk all about the skincare deals, whether it's uh, indie brands, Korean brands, or other direct retail deals. I've also, with great hesitation, decided I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts, ideas for how I package gifts. Typically, because there are some amount of friends and family members who watch my channel, I try to keep this a little bit under wraps. All right, fine, pun very much intended. But ultimately, I do wanna share, I think it's a really fun topic. I think we all enjoy getting a beautifully packaged gift, and I think we enjoy giving them as well. So that will be part of today's video. Like always, there are timestamps and links in the description box below so you can jump to whatever section interests you. Actually, it's really not a lot of makeup in today's video. It is mostly a skincare video. The makeup section will be in my Ulta haul. So let's go ahead and get into it. I wanna start with my Sephora VIB sale haul. I, as mentioned, ended up not buying that much. That's largely because I got grumpy about the Amore Pacific set that I wanted selling out. It's completely my own fault. I could have bought it on day one, but I wanted to think about it for unknown reasons and then it sold out. But anyway, I did restock my Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. I just have to have this. I talk about it all the time because it is one of my absolute favorite products. It's really funny. It's one of those products where I know it's not for everybody. No skincare product ever is. But it's one of those products that works for me and brings me so much joy. Y'all, the amount of times that I look into the mirror while I apply this and say, an avocado, thanks. It's silly. It's silly, but I just get joy out of this. I love using it. I love using it. I decided to only buy one moisturizer. The ranking of moisturizers video has really, really made me face the music of how much moisturizer I actually have, but I still wanted to buy one. The one I was torn between was repurchasing Honey Halo or buying this one from Cora. I decided to go with the one from Cora. This is the Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. And the ultimate reason is because I do love the system here. So it is a refillable product, which is something that I'd like to see more companies focus on doing. When you finish off your moisturizer, you simply pop out this inside here. You can buy a replacement for $10 less than the full size itself, and you're good to go. And I absolutely love that. I'd like to see you know more brands focus on more sustainable options and talk about gorgeous packaging. I mean, really, it's absurdly beautiful. I also really appreciate Cora. I was a little bit on the fence as to whether these ingredients would work out for me because I do have certain allergies, but they had such a fantastic gift with purchase size. Uh, it was a half ounce, a half ounce of a very thick moisturizer that lasted me for such a long time that I was really able to get a feel for how this product would work for me and that's why I ended up going for it. Yeah, it actually does work. I love using this on my dry skin. It has anti-inflammatory properties, which is very helpful for my acne-prone skin type. It's really a very nice moisturizer, but definitely do check the ingredients on this. Uh, Cora is a clean brand that does use some amount of potential allergens, so definitely check that out. But I gotta admit, I gotta admit I love this. I really do. And then I also bought a mini of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. So when it comes to gifting skincare, I actually prefer to give smaller sizes, kind of like what I was talking about with the Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. I think it's so helpful to try a good size miniature of the full size and see if it works out for you. See if it really is the right product for you. And I like to apply that 
in giving gifts as well. While the full size looks a whole lot more fancy, the reality with Glow Recipe is they're really not unscented products. I don't know if they have the word fragrance in this one. Oh, they, they do. But it's skincare, so no matter how much I love this, that doesn't mean it's gonna work for others, and therefore a great way for people to figure out if it works for them is to give them a small size like this. And I don't mean those tiny little two-use products. That's just, it's just not enough to know if you're gonna have a latent reaction. 1.35 fluid ounces, and especially because you don't need a cotton pad, you don't need to waste any product, just pour it into your hands, that is plenty of product to find out if it's for you. I'm gonna pause really quickly and talk about my strategy for making gift giving look really, really cute and fun for the recipient. So one thing I like to do is color coordinate a gift set and then I'll wrap it all up in a gift basket that is also the same color. So what I'm thinking of with this Glow Recipe toner is I'm gonna pair it with the Peace Out Retinol Rewind. By the way, the Peace Out brand is 30% off. That's why I didn't buy from them during the VIB sale. They run that sale pretty frequently on their website. I'll make sure to link it if you're interested. I haven't opened this though. This is a gift. This strategy may not be for everybody. If you know somebody who is, you know, a loyalist to a certain skincare brand, this is probably not optimal for them, but it's fun for uh, people who maybe aren't so dedicated to a certain brand. It's just a, a fun way of giving them a great experience in unba unbagging, unboxing. And then we'll talk a little bit about skincare sets and what I do with those, my ideas for packaging those. So if you all were able to purchase in the 30% off gift sets from Target, good for you. Can you believe how fast those came? I got the first part of my order in one day. But if you missed that sale, it's no loss. It's actually going on again right now. Uh, I need to figure out if the $5 off coupon from this box works on the new gift sets. I may grab one more. But the one I had grabbed in that sale was this one right here, Fresh Finds. Wow, this was loaded with products and more than anything else, I wanted to try the Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream, which I believe retails for at least $18 and the whole box was just over 10. I also am gonna try the collagen peptides because I, I still do take collagen every single day. I also decided to keep the Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. This is actually nice. I actually like this. I think that'll be helpful for when we're traveling just so I have a little uh, portable dry shampoo. But everything else from this box, I plan to uh, repackage as gifts. I know some amount of people get funny about this. They're like, ugh, that's so tacky. You're re-gifting. I personally just think that mindset is strange. It's really nice contents in this box. It'll make great gifts, especially if I do the thing that I love to do of make little skincare routines from sets. If you have friends that aren't as into skincare or you could do this with makeup also, they're going to thank you for doing that. And while it's a cute box here, you get the little spin the wheel thing on it. It is cuter in a cute little basket wrapped up. I don't think I'm wrong. I got one more kind of uh, mix of different skincare products. This is the Skin Store gift box, the holiday gift set. We talked about this in What's New in Skincare. They were kind enough to send it over to me. Thank you, Skin Store. Admittedly, this is packaged so nicely that you certainly don't need to put any further effort into it. And it is jam packed with very exciting products and full sizes. So let's go through a little unboxing of this, starting with the Medicaid Peptide Serum worth $49. Love that that is in a tube. We have the Elta MD Skin Recovery Serum. That is a $56 value, and that is a very popular brand. So I'm quite excited about trying that product. We have my favorite, the Elemis Cleansing Balm. I love this product. I have a lot of videos featuring this product. We have the Babor Hydra Plus Ampoules. I've talked about these a lot on this channel also. I say it's like using a sheet mask, but without the waste. It's just so intensely hydrating. Then we have the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Masks. A lot of you have said you love these, so I'm super excited to try that. We have a deluxe size sample of a hand cream in here. That's a value of $10. And then, oh my goodness, the Verso Super Eye Serum. I love this brand so much, full size. Uh, the Collagen Hydrator by PCA Skin, that is also a full-size product, low irritant as well. A nice little sheet mask in here, and then we have a few more samples, including uh, 111 Skin, I think that's how you say that brand. 
U Beauty resurfacing compound. I haven't heard about that brand, but I'll try it. And then a very adorable little nest bamboo candle. I really appreciate Skin Store. I've come to appreciate how many uh, brands they carry that you can't get at Sephora and Ulta. And here's another gift set that I bought with points at Ulta. This is the Pericone MD Explorer Collection. I also talked about this in an older What's New in Skincare video. This is $89 with a $208 value. That's their calculation. I think I calculated it, calculated it to be uh, $228, maybe because I used the uh, travel sizes for my calculations. This was on sale for 40% off. I hope that comes back. Paracon MD is very underrated on YouTube, but I've had incredible experiences with their products. This has uh, quite generous sizes of the Cold Plasma Serum and Moisturizer, an eyelid serum, eyelid? An eye serum, but yes, it is called the Eyelid Lift Serum. Full size face finishing and firming moisturizer, which is why I bought this set in particular. And then the Nutritive Cleanser. So it's a full routine. This is a full routine in a cute bag. Let's see, we can take a look at the bag, but I am going to be gifting this to a family member who really loves this brand. Oh wow, the quality of this bag is actually really nice. It looks better in real life than it does in the picture. That's a nice bag. I have a small handful of drugstore products to update you on. So let's actually start with the Yes to Avocado Fragrance Free Daily Cream Cleanser. Someone asked me to give this a quick review and so I decided to just go ahead and pick it up. If you ask me to review something that is much more on the affordable end and especially if it's available at Ulta where I have some points, I probably will, I probably will. So this is with hyaluronic acid to hydrate, of course, we've talked about that in the uh, cleansers, basic versus active ingredients video. Overall, it's a very simple formula, but you know what? It actually is nice. And it was really affordable. I believe this was under $5. I do think it might even be uh, at an additional discount on the Ulta website. I noticed it's a little bit more expensive at other retailers. So I'll make sure to link that below as well. Now, in all truth, I appreciate that it's fragrance free because that's gonna be a wonderful option for people that have really sensitive skin types. For me, I've found that I have to be more cautious with leave-on products. When it comes to fragrance and cleansers, my skin can typically handle it, even with ingredients that I typically struggle with. So it's a nice product, but typically I do prefer to have a little bit of scent experience in this uh, step in my skincare routine, simply because my skin can handle it. But if your skin can't, you know, that is a, a great option. One more thing that is currently in the Ulta pre-Black Friday sale is the uh, buy two, get two free of K-Beauty masks. I recently purchased some of the cream shops options specifically. Okay, you know how Skin Iceland has the kind of expensive uh, patches for all over your face. They have some for forehead, for smile lines, of course the very well-known under eye patches. But I saw these from the cream shop, they were a better price and I thought I would try them. The Fine Line Warrior Smoothing Hydrogel Forehead Patch and turn that frown upside down, Smoothing Hydrogel Frown Line Patches. Uh, so the Fine Line Warrior, this is okay. It's cute, it does have this design on the patches itself. It basically feels like a sheet mask that is just for your forehead. Collagen, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine. I think it's fine, but honestly, it seems so much like a sheet mask to me that it's kind of like, why wouldn't you just buy a full sheet mask? You leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and take it off. Again, why not just use a full sheet mask? But I actually really, really like these. The turn that frown upside down. This to me is a Skin Iceland dupe. It is quite close, but a little bit less sticky, which is good news overall if you have an allergy to a glue type of products, you may not be able to use Skin Iceland. This one, I think you would because it's not too sticky, but it stays in place. You can actually wear this overnight and you will see a difference overnight, especially in leaving something on for that long. You're going to see an increase in hydration around your smile line area, which of course minimizes the appearance of wrinkles. See, that's why moisturizing products are able to say decreases the appearance of wrinkles because they do by increasing water content in a certain area. Doesn't mean it's a long-term effect, but it absolutely does mean it makes a difference in the short term.
And before we finish the Ulta haul, because I do have a few more products to share with you from that, I wanted to go ahead and share with you my uh, monthly Yes Style sponsored product. I'm not paid to make this, it's just PR basically. I decided to choose the Make Prim Comfort Me Panthenol Moisture Essence because a lot of you have asked me if I've tried this one. I wasn't really initially interested in branching out with the Make Prim brand. I was just gonna stick with their sunscreens, but I'm so glad I tried this because it's actually really nice. I thought it seemed kind of small for an essence. It is only 2.70 fluid ounces, but to me, it's more of a serum. I actually like it as a second serum, meaning I'll apply my active ingredient products and then put this over it. And because it is uh, such a, uh, it feels more like an emulsion, actually. It's a lightweight, almost runny moisturizer, in my opinion, it really does immediately, as the name suggests, comfort me. It comforts my skin. It is actually gorgeous. And it's a really nice ingredients list also. We really don't have any potential irritants in here. It is very high in panthenol, contains ceramides. It's extremely well done. pH of 5.5, appreciate that disclosure. Yeah, thank you all for asking about this one. Very pleased with it. If you follow me on Instagram, you did see this haul. It's, it's not as obnoxious, again, as it looks, but it is a 2,000 points redemption. I have one more 2,000 points redemption to do this year, and I've just got to figure out the best day to do it. See that video for more information on my thoughts there. Uh, oh. See, I bought the Reiki Skinny Mirror, so they had to ship it in a huge box, and I mean, I will say I appreciate that. I would rather not receive a, you know, broken glass mirror in the mail, you know? So let me go ahead and give you some thoughts on the Reiki Skinny Mirror. I've actually, uh, I'm actually kind of using this right now, which I didn't anticipate. Like a lot of us who got this for 62-ish dollars, some of you even less. We panic bought, we panic bought, because this retails for 195 195 205 something like that it's a very large mirror and it's very very bright but after we made that order we went back and read the reviews right and that's brilliant but we all did it we all did it and a lot of the reviews said it breaks so we asked an engineer friend what is going on with this why are so many people saying that the mirror breaks and he said to me that the problem with lithium battery devices is that they all break over time because that lithium battery has a, a life to it. Have any of you ever had a, a phone that you've used for too long that it no longer holds a charge? That's actually what most of the reviewers were saying is that at about a year, they noticed it wasn't holding a charge. I happened to catch something complicated in the way this mirror works. And that is that the charge port is on the side. See, I have an iHome that plugs in in the back. That thing is always plugged in. I don't run that just on battery alone. But because of where the plug hangs out on this, it doesn't look too cute to leave it plugged in. You want to unplug this, which means you're gonna run it on battery, which means you are eventually going to run out that lithium battery. And I kind of suspect also, this is such, a bright mirror that I wonder if that is also draining the battery more. Again, comparing the Reiki Skinny to my iHome, which uh, I will have to put up on the screen, which one I have. The lowest setting on this is brighter than the highest setting on my iHome. I don't even think I'll ever use this at full capacity. It is so bright. Probably great for the uh, Bluetooth selfie function that they say this has. I'm sure you'll get very nice looking pictures because you'll really wash out your photos. High exposure. Higher exposure makes your skin look crystal clear. It wipes out any kind of shadows. It wipes out any kind of acne. It not only looks good, but it's more visually appealing to the eyes. And like we talked about in the acne positivity video, people like aesthetics, they do. I'm going off, I decided to keep it. What I would like to do is maybe in the future do a video uh, going more in depth as to the differences between the iHome and the Reiki Skinny. Um, ultimately, I think iHome is kind of underrated, but I'm also not too surprised. The biggest problem I have with the iHome is that it automatically shuts off after 30 minutes. By the way, that's to preserve the battery, but that means I pretty much never do a more involved makeup look 
without turning it back on. You know, that's what it really comes down to is there's pros and cons of everything out there. Definitely do be aware of that big potential con with this, that uh, battery running out in roughly a year. But I'm gonna save it for travel purposes because I always, my makeup always looks terrible when I travel because I don't have a good mirror. So I'm gonna try that. It's a perfect size for travel, it's very flat. And I'll uh, eventually do an update video. And a few more items I grabbed in my points haul. I got a, a travel size of the Lancome Idol Lash. I'm gonna gift this. Hilariously, I genuinely think that drugstore mascaras are just as good as high-end mascaras, but a high-end mascara does make a really nice gift. And I have some Lancome fans in my family, so that'll be perfect. I bought this from Real Techniques. I don't remember what this was called, so I'll have to put it up on the screen somewhere, but I thought this was so cute. $5 for some travel brushes. I will be traveling soon, so I keep mentioning it. Uh, so I thought, you know, this looks perfect. My God, I hate this set. My opinion, my opinion incoming. So it's, you know, $5. You might think, well, it's probably not gonna be really great quality, Alice. Why would you expect a lot from a $5 brush set? But here's the thing. I really do like Real Techniques as a brand. I've loved them for years. They're $5, yes, which is very inexpensive, but it's also not $1, so I expected it to be, you know, at least decent. I expected the sacrifice that we were making for it being a five versus, you know, $15 brush set was you're getting only three brushes and they're a little short brushes. I didn't expect the bristles to actually also be terrible. I guess the mini liner is okay. I don't have any problems with that one, but the mini shading brush, super scratchy. And this one, the mini contour brush, they say you can use it for a face blush, for example. This dang little tiny brush that I decided to add to my order messed up my whole foundation today. Y'all ever had this happen where, you know, you have your foundation in place, you put your powder on, you add your pow powder blush, I used a powder blush, and I was very gently massaging that into my skin and I noticed it was lifting my foundation. But when that happens, you gotta start all over again. You gotta take off everything and put your foundation back on because you cannot really fix it. I did not buy this brush set to ruin my makeup look. I did not buy this brush set to struggle. So again, only my opinion. Let me know if any of you have tried this and you have a different experience. But I, I will say my concern with this is I feel like I bet you Alta puts this up at uh, the front, the registers at the front, and you know, people who are buying gifts, boyfriends, grandparents, who know they're buying for somebody who loves makeup, they'll see it and go, oh, that looks like a cute little addition. And so they'll just throw it in their cart and not think anything of it. And uh, yeah, I really, I really don't like it. it. And that to me is what feels kind of like a cash grab. What is going on, Real Techniques? You have so much potential. The little Alta gift with purchase bag. Mm. It's uh, a cute bag. I will say that. I love squishing the bag. The contents are kind of underwhelming. But I've wanted to try this Wildcat brand they keep promoting. Got another Tony Moly in this one. And, uh, ooh, we can try uh, Ariana Grande's God is a Woman, which I've been curious about for a while. I heard this uh, caused a stir. Huh. It smells like Alanis Morissette. One more little makeup gift set, kind of skincare and makeup. Uh, not from Ulta, but from the Target deal, so you can still get this for 30% off. I bought from the Lip Bar. They had this cute little tinted lip balm uh, two-part set here for 10 bucks, $7 on sale. I love the Lip Bar. They're one of my favorite little indie makeup brands that is available at Target. I think sometimes people forget that indie doesn't necessarily mean uh, Etsy. It just means a brand isn't owned by one of the giant conglomerates. It means it's its own independent brand. And I love supporting the Lip Bar because first of all, they are an indie brand. And secondly, they make some of the most moisturizing lip products. So I was really excited to try uh, lip balms from the brand. The one I'm wearing right now is Red Velvet, which I will say is a lot more pink than I expected, but it feels so comfortable on. It's got a pretty glittery shift to it, so moisturizing. The only comment that I would add is it does have a little bit of a minty sensation, not too strong, but if you hate mint products, 
probably not for you. But yeah, such a cute little brand. I also saw uh, Minted Cosmetics has a lip gloss set on Target as well, which actually ends up being a little bit less than buying the lip glosses when they've been 50% off at Ulta. So that's definitely something else to check out. I guess I'll link that if you're interested. I'm still thinking about it. I still might go for that one. And that is it. That's everything for this video. Was this a little bit of a quicker video than usual? I think it might have been. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Please stay tuned. We have so much exciting stuff coming to the channel this week. In the event that it is a busy upcoming week for you, which I do understand, I just want to say have a wonderful holiday season. Happy shopping. And I will see you all next time.